Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRamerica.com here. Now the big news today is Zwift, the Tour de France, and riding down the Champs-Élysées. That's, that's the thing that's making the headlines today, and that's what, that's what you expect this video to be about. But here's the thing, it's not about that. Well, I mean, not directly. Unlike everyone else, I actually did ride Zwift down the Champs-Élysées. I rode Zwift down the real Champs-Élysées back a couple years ago and never actually finished the video about it. I didn't finish the video because I couldn't quite get the footage as good as I wanted, but I think in light of today's news, I've got to pull this out of like the DCR archive, out of the, the old school footage reels that are just sitting around doing nothing and, and show it to you because it's, it's flipping hilarious, to be honest. So what it was is back a couple years ago, I think like five years or so ago, uh, I wanted to test this new iPad mount. Uh, it was just called Sea Sucker Mount, Sea Sucker Mount. Anyways, they make like bike racks and stuff like that. Uh, but they sent me this to try out this iPad mount in. I did. Basically, it hooks on the front of your, your bike and you mount your iPad to it. Uh, it's designed for indoor usage and it all works fine. It's a giant suction cup and it goes in the back and everything's grand. Uh, inside it was no problem. It never broke. It was, it was great. Uh, but I wasn't really content with that. I wanted to show and demonstrate that it was a beast of a mount. Uh, so naturally I went outside. Now living in Paris at the time, I thought to myself, I want to take this outside and step it up the next level. So let's take it down the cobbles of the Champs-Élysées, all the way down, full send, full speed, see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? A bus runs over my iPad? Maybe, probably, possibly, just just saying. So I did exactly that. I started at the base near Concord. I went all the way up the Champs-Élysées, around the arc a couple times, went back down the Champs-Élysées, got to Concord, iPad just fine except the footage was bad. So, so naturally I had to do it again. So I'm back out. But the thing you gotta keep in mind about this time frame is this is before you could screen record an iPad. So in order to actually try to record Zwift on the iPad, I had to have a laptop in a backpack and then the laptop and the iPad connected to a phone, which was a wireless access point also in the backpack. And then I was sending the whole thing from the iPad to the laptop to record via the quick. It was a complete and total fiasco and disaster of a mess. And ultimately why I never published a video because I never could get that connection stable enough and I kept on dropping out the entire time that I just pretty much gave up on it and ultimately gave up on the video. Still, looking back on it, there are some amazing nuggets in this video that are worthwhile watching. Way more entertaining than I can guarantee you anything you're gonna see in the next couple weeks on the real Zwift Tour de France uh, because they don't have buses and things like that on the Champs-Élysées in the middle of the race. Okay, so let's get into this whole thing. So the first chunk is going up the Champs-Élysées. Uh, now this is up a slight grade, it's, it's cobbles, uh, and you can see I'm having troubles right away with the iPad mount there. Uh, it's basically, it's, it's drooping down. It's not, it's, not staying, it's not staying erect, it's not staying up the way I want it to be. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to fight this iPad mount while I'm in traffic. Here, let me just, let me just show you. Missing this what sound, not hearing that music out here. Kind of a shame. Just doing a pass though right there. 400 watts. Oh, and a quick note, if you're finding this video entertaining or something, just whack that like button at the bottom there. It really helps out this video and the channel quite a bit. One block, two blocks away from the uh, the top, the arc there. Still in the tunnel that one's lift. There we go. Again, not problems you normally have in Zwift. Now, as I approach the top here, you get to basically the arc. Uh, now, of course, around the arc is a giant circle that in the Tour de France, you see cyclists go around this whole thing and they come back down the Champs-Élysées and, and it, it's lots of fun to watch. Uh, but in real life, it's way more spectacular because in this case, you have all these cars. And one of my favorite pastimes when I lived in Paris was to take people from outside of Paris um, with me on the bicycle through this giant cluster of an intersection. Uh, and I... 
I had, I had way too much fun doing that, to be totally honest. Um, so basically, the way it works is that when you enter the intersection here, you've just got to go as fast as you can uh, straight into traffic. And it sounds completely bonkers, and it works most of the time as long as nobody hits you. Uh, and that's because the cars entering the circle actually have the right of way, and so do you as a bicycle. Uh, so everyone in the circle has to stop for you coming in there. So as long as they see you, you're totally fine. Now, once you get into the circle, you've got to get across all these lanes of traffic. And how many lanes? It depends on the day. It could be two, it could be five, it could be eight. Um, but you got to get yourself all the way into like the center of where the arc is and you can go around this little donut as many times as you want, as fast as you want. The gimbal's going a bit wonk right now again on me. But the iPad is still there. Let's uh, kick up the speed a little bit. There's a bus again. Cars, horse, horse man, you're not doing it good. Horse, you suck at this. There we go. We'll do another loop around the uh, arc here because the gimbal is out the first loop. Welcome to the Karma Gimbal. There we go, kick it up a little bit now. Uh, just under 400 watts. A bit tight through here. There we go. Looping around one more time. There we go. Get some speed here. Gotta watch out for traffic coming in to the right. All good. Don't want to get hit by a supermarket van. A little bit tight to get through there. Okay, now we get to exit this whole mess. That's where it gets fun. The key to exiting on a bike is always hang up behind a car. If they get hit, then it's all good. There we go, so we got a brazen car. Doesn't quite understand the rules, but that's all right. Incoming mo motorcycles. Got the uh, bus for the airport and we are successfully out. And so this is the part of the video where it kind of started to fall apart from a production standpoint uh, in that I couldn't really get the video as high quality as I wanted. I had a couple different action cameras. I had a GoPro Hero 5 at the time mounted on, I don't remember if it was a GoPro gimbal or if it was a third-party gimbal, but uh, mounted on that on my chest. I also had uh, another Garmin Verb Ultra or XE, one of the two action cameras pointed at me trying to get it all right, but the footage just kept on coming out bad. The other challenge I had was that the iPad mount while secure to the bike, like that thing was definitely 100% not going anywhere unless I was flattened by a bus. That was on the bike. But the iPad itself kept on drooping down and the faster you went down the Champs-Élysées, the more prominent the vibrations were from the cobbles and then the further it drooped to the point that it was almost catching my front wheel, um, which may have made for a spectacular viral video, but not have made for a good way to get that iPad back home. Uh, so anyways, I finished though. I, I got to the end of it. I did this whole thing numerous times just for the heck of it. I think it's even up on Strava if you look or something like that, you'll find it there. Uh, but I had to bring this footage back because I thought it was hilarious. But given all of those Zwift news today on the Tour de France and on riding Zwift on the Champs-Élysées in particular, it seemed like I'm the only one that's done this. Uh, so anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you found it entertaining or something like that. If so, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there or the subscribe button. I will definitely go ahead and talk about more of these Zwift Tour de France uh, virtual stuffs down the road. But uh, for now, I think this is probably a bit more fun. With that, have a good one.